Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 18th episode of Mighty Mashita Iruma-kun. And last episode, everyone's having fun playing in the invisible maze, getting lost and everyone getting getting kind of funneled in the same area. And we had a lot of funny gags with people just kind of run, walking into walls, which doesn't sound that funny when you say it out loud, but they just really nailed the comedic timing on a couple of them. Most notably, Amedi just... Bam, right into the wall. Just... It was great. I don't know. It was great. And the Tsukima thing and just it was a good episode. There's a lot of good stuff for sure. And this episode, I think we're finally going to get the confrontation that's been building up for a while between Udama and Kirio. You know, Kohai and Senpai, the one that betrayed him. And yeah, who knows what's going to happen with this. It may, may be... We may have to see like this look of betrayal on on Inuma's face. Like, why? Why could you? How could you do this to me? I thought we were friends. I thought we understood each other. Why are you causing such trouble? You know, we could get something like that. So, let's let's jump on in and see what we get. Three, two, one, play. And we're so look at that chessboard there. But we're all quite silent. Somebody, okay. Somebody say something, I was gonna say. A little bit of static shock there. Yeah, Bobby, 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 do. I forgot I had to turn it up, but. Yeah, Bobby, 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 do. You know, I gotta say, Edema's classmates really were less relevant to the overall show than I thought they would be. But that was most my fault for expecting My Hero Academia levels of participation from classmates. Yeah, Bobby, 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 do. Yeah, Bobby, 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 do. Yeah, Bobby, 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 do. Yeah, Bobby, 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 do. Whew. So, back to the festival. Everyone still having fun? I don't see much activity. <laughs> And they're still, they're still at that, and he's still at that, and that look looks very unstable. We should probably set that down. You could, you could just put it down. It's okay. Uh, you keep, you keep struggling, man. What I want more than anything. Somebody probably should tell him he can put it down, though. It's the bell. That was quite the crowd we had there. He's off doing important things. Right before a confrontation. How are you going to handle this? Oh, well, I guess that's going to be hard to get around. <laughs> I guess I should have seen that coming. <laughs> Senpai, could you please let me in? I would like to chat about current events. Oh, he did let him in. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah, are you the Senpai we know? He took them off to represent how he's changed. And uh, 
I... <laughs> yeah. I'll enjoy it significantly less if your plan continues. That's the school destruction thing. And I ride out with it, no sugarcoating it. You can't let him do this, Irima. <laughs> Devi Tanoshimi. <sighs> such a cute name for such a destructive device. When I was born, we gotta start from there. Sokotara. Okay. Well, that's a wonderful looking place. I would love to live there. Oh, that even looks really cool, too. But anyway, plot. Gotta focus on the plot. You know, tend to admire scenery. I mean, we already knew that was an issue, the lack of magic. Well, sorry for being born, sheesh. What does that look? Like a happy evil kind of look. He's always had that little mole. Is the mother not going to be very nice? Is she going to push him away? <sighs> That's not okay. Uh, why are we going to the garden? I mean, it's a lovely garden, but I'm still concerned. It's still a gorgeous home, though. Garden of Delinquents, is that what that said? Correctional Elementary School? Jeez. Elementary School, they whip you, that's pretty hardcore. Yeah, well, screw you, too. Oh, do those flowers have giant spikes at the top of them? I want some. And there's the girl from the flashback we saw before. I remember her. Def remember her. She, I think, eventually pushes him away, too. Although I don't know what happens. Can make a tablet. He always bring his own protection. <laughs> sure. She does seem quite cute. Wow, that's a pretty big deal. <laughs> Is it gonna get broken somehow? Uh, uh, should I know it would get worse? Uh, it's all about that hierarchy. <laughs> get, get wrecked. But I knew he wouldn't appreciate that. <sighs> oh no. It's a really nice looking river though. <sighs> oh, he's gonna go for it. Is he really gonna jump? Oh no, he's gonna- Okay, no, that's smart. Okay, that's good. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. And then it breaks, and then it's going to fall anyway. Ah, uh, that false hope just breaking. So then that wouldn't happen if it wasn't so weak. Oh, God. So that's what happened. No wonder he <laughs> wishes he was stronger. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh. Oh God, <laughs> Jesus, man, you are, you are something else. Uh, I maybe we should leave this room quickly. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to talk through him through this. This, this, I don't know. I'm much less confident about being able to have a peaceful solution to this. If he's that messed up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's not pin him to the floor anymore. Yeah, that'd be good. Right, we're getting into him. <laughs> uh, lost a horn. Jesus. Uh, uh, I am very uncomfortable around him now. I don't know if you could ever find a comrade. Gave her one of them. Oh, God. Uh, I don't think I was ready for this episode. Yeah, I bet. Uh, I don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, sure. He... This is where this starts. I guess somebody's got to. Oh no, natural light! Yeah, this, they call this a demon world. Where's all the blood and death and suffering? And there we go. Straight up that with his motivations. Want some more demonic life world set in. Uh maybe we shouldn't drink this. Uh -huh. Man, these faces. Can we stop with them? Uh, that's when he got the thing, yeah. So that's why he doesn't like the ranks, because it's a form of order. Doesn't actually have any problem with discrimination or anything. Just chaos. Okay, I guess it all makes sense, sort of. I... 
I'm still kind of processing a lot of this. Man, how is he possibly going to respond to this? Uh, okay, and Don Gun Rompa flashbacks. I don't think Ginnema will fall into despair. He's a pretty strong person. Yeah, he let him come in. That's a very good, very important thing to mention. Or maybe you wanted somebody to stop you deep down. Uh, I don't think Claudia would ever be falling to despair. <laughs> Come on, Edema, say something. Uh, there's a lot of faces that I want to show you, but that's not one of them. And I don't think that's the face he was looking for. So, we're just gonna break the device real quick. Uh, does it have gunpowder in it? We're just gonna like use it to blow it up. Like... Otherwise, not sure what he's doing. <laughs> he's had a rough life. Okay, he knows how to deal with things. And yeah, nothing good would come of that. Exactly. Wow, yeah, he is a really great protagonist. Yeah, they are clearly quite different, as was made pretty clear in this episode. Okay, so he was just using it to... Okay, I got it now. He was just so sure he needed a boost. Yeah, definitely as uh, Danganronpa vibes. <laughs> He's worked really hard. Never falling into to despair. <laughs> oh, I got chills. Right in front of you. No, how about no? We'll see. So you might have to, you might still have to convince him then. Maybe. What are you going to do, Irma? Maybe the ring could, like, absorb all the power out of it or something? I don't know. Fireworks is supposed to be a happy thing. I'm Eddie's really, really looking forward to it. Oh, man, we're getting close. Down to the wire. Uh, what are we gonna do? Like, throw it somewhere? Where could we possibly put it that would be safe? I... Okay, we're just gonna... Just gonna launch it. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, there we go. I guess that'll... I guess that'll do it. We just have to... Just have to break through. Get it out of here. But... It seems to not be working too well. Uh, maybe we just have to hit it harder? 
We're not giving up just yet. Just gotta turn out the setting on the ring, right? Because it has a higher setting, I think. We have Sullivan's magic, though. Because of the ring. We're gonna have to use a trump card. Good thing we have that. I love the animation on the attack, too. It just looks so cool. And there we go. Maximum setting. Now, <clears throat> now we'll show you what it can do. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, this is, this is amazing. That is an attack. That is a demon attack right there. We are breaking through and you are not stopping us. And just shatters like glass. But although hopefully somebody catches him. Which I'm sure somebody will. Yeah, you're about to see some fireworks. It should be beautiful too. And boom. Zero. It's right, right in sync with the bell. As it should be. Just without the, you know, death and destruction. As it should be. And they all get to enjoy the fireworks and not be dead. <laughs> he did it. He saved the day as the protagonist should. Is he still holding up the thing? Yeah, what do you think of the fireworks? Are you salty at all? Uh, it's still kind of going. It's definitely cool. Which summer day? Just your imagination. Oh, wow, look at how many. Wow, look at the best day of her life. Which I guess it would be. I don't think I've ever seen her look that happy before. I touch you. And, wow, he did save him in the end. Because he still cares about you, Rima. Well, you were in the wrong, so he had to foil your plans. Sorry, not sorry. Man, yeah, that's... That was the rough... Rough attack for him to, to, to use. How dare you sleep so, so peacefully after ruining all my plans. <laughs> He does what he needed, needs to do, makes what makes him a good protagonist. As it should be. <laughs> yeah, he's just having a happy little sleep there. If he wasn't caught, it would have been a permanent sleep. I, did I just see a meteor shower? Uh, that might be an issue. I don't know. The point is, we at least dealt with the, the immediate problem. And I am sweaty. I mean, I was already sweaty because it's hot in here, but I'm even more sweaty because of the, the intensity of what I, what I witnessed. Oof. Yeah, I am just... Uh, I hate summer. I really do. Because it's hot, I sweat a lot, my, the fans on my computer have to work harder to keep it cool, and that gets picked up by the microphone, and it's just a horrible cycle. Just, I hate, I hate summer. Debbie, 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 Q, Debbie, Q, Debbie, Debbie, Q, Debbie. The school lives to see another day. Debbie Q, 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 Debbie Q. I just, I can't, it's hard to do all that without breathing. And, oh no, we didn't get a, we didn't get a Tsukima. Oh. Why, why didn't we get a Tsukima? I, that, I, I feel, I feel cheated. Why didn't we get a Tsukima? Well, I, 
This is not okay. I didn't. I didn't get it. I. It's supposed to be before the preview, but we didn't get it. Why would you do this to me, Show? Why? What? What did I ever do to you? Why would you? Why would you do this to me? I. It, maybe it'll be after the preview. Maybe. No, we we didn't we didn't get our Tsukima. But I don't even want to do the discussion now. I. What's what's even the point? Just ruined my whole day there. Okay, I know. I guess I, I guess I guess I have to. But yeah, that that was the 18th episode of Mighty Mashita Yudama Kun, and you know I I did want to know more about uh, Kidio and what his motivations are and stuff like that. <laughs> I got that. I mean, I, I I I certainly did. Just apparently he developed a bit of a fetish for the despair on people's faces. Okay, I don't really know what to say to that. Really, just this kid he breaks off his own horn and gives it to a girl because she said she liked it to make up for losing her her, her thingy. I I don't know. Just I, I wasn't ready for any of that. Like I already knew some basics of his character, like the fact that he was born pretty weak, and of course he wouldn't have got gotten much respect as a result of that. And you know, we saw a brief little bit of that girl in a flashback before we knew it ended tragically somehow. But didn't know, didn't have much context on it at all, and this certainly did fill in those gaps, uh, the Tsukima, if you will. Uh, yeah, it was it was a gorgeous house. Honestly, it looked absolutely fantastic. I would, I would give almost any anything to live in a, a home like that. That was it was wonderful. Just the people in it weren't weren't all that great. But uh, anyway, yeah. Aside from just the despair thing, just the overall motivation is to just kind of break down the order and have a more Chaos filled world. I mean, I, I get the logic, the logic to it to a degree, because what we see in the show, there's it, it, it does seem a lot more, you know, order filled and peaceful than you might you might associate with a demonic world, right? Like we do have little bits and pieces of things that make it very clear this is different than the human world. You know, they're like demonic version of dodgeball and stuff like that. And an overall just architecture design and stuff like that. However, mo and, you know, the hierarchy system is also a little bit different. But overall, it's really not that different than, you know, the human world. They go to school fairly normally. They take they attend classes. Like, you know, for the most part... Because the show kind of has a bit of a focus on the differences of the human world because we have a human at the school that can very much notice those differences. But overall, it's very human-like, the world. It's not quite the ferocious hell kind of setting that you might associate with a d demon world, right? You know, the chaos, if you will. So, I never really thought about it much, but, but yeah, this isn't quite as demonic of a world as it could be. And it makes sense there might be some demons that want that. You know, because it seemed like it was like that before, right? It just eventually things went more in the direction of being more just orderly and peaceful. And of course, if that's the case, some people will be against that, will fight against it, naturally. I mean, I think I've seen similar plot points in shows before. But, uh, yeah, just apparently the school is a pretty big symbol of that New World Order, and getting rid of it would help. I guess like, I don't think order would completely collapse just because the school was destroyed, but I guess it was the first step to that overall goal. But obviously, it's a goal that Yudama couldn't get behind at all, and he was a, he was able to just kind of take in all this information, and he didn't really have any kind of whining little period like you know like Shinji from Evangelion, you know, unlike you know Shinji, Yudama's a really good protagonist, so he he figures he learns about the situation, he knows what he needs to do, and he just does it. That's great. Like that's that's what I wanted to see. I don't need you know five minutes of Inuma you know whining and complaining and stuff like that. He he didn't. He was just silently taking it all in and then acted. So and did what he needed to do. Looked pretty damn cool while doing it. It's pretty much everything I could hope from from hope for from an anime protagonist. So I was pretty happy with pretty much all of his actions. You know he was obviously a little bit slow to really be suspicious of uh, of Kidio, but you know I I get that. You know there's reasons for that. It, it makes sense. It was his first you know, friend that really seems similar to him, you know, and uh, he's a senpai and all that, so I definitely get why he was so reluctant to be suspicious of him, but once it, it did become clear that he was the one at fault, you know, I did what I need to do, and that's good. Uh, I need, and then I need to kind of stop repeating myself, because I think I did a decent amount there, but so anyway, let's, let's move on. Although I don't think there's much more to say, really, just 
summoning the dragon and then powering it up by putting the setting to the max and then shattering through the glass and the fireworks to sh and then Pirima falling and then Kirio saving him because despite Kirio several problems as a person he still cares about Irima and wanted to help him and I did quite enjoy his little lamenting about how he lost that was that was good so just yeah overall I thought it was you know really well executed episode you know some aspects of some of the reveals we got of Kirio kind of disturbed me a little bit but especially some of the faces he made like even in that flashback when he was like snuggling up to the one demon's weapon or whatever just that may have been when I'm, when, I'm, when I was at maximum uncomfortableness. I think it was. Just... I don't know, just that. Because I, I, I don't know why I had to, had to remind myself of that, because that was just so wrong. It was just so wrong. Like, I, don't even, I don't even have the words to really describe how uncomfortable that made me. But yeah, just, let's not do that anymore. Just no. Please no more of that. I could not handle much more of that. Uh, so yeah, that's... Pretty much everything I got to say, you know, Yerima just looking so happy and sleeping after a good day's work. But we did have this shot here near the end where we seem to see seem to see like meteorites kind of thing with the fireworks. Are those gonna like be a problem? Are they gonna crash down? Is that gonna be an issue? I'm not quite sure. I I guess we'll see next time. But either way, I'm sure we'll deal with it if it if it is a problem. And yeah, I'm just gonna end off this video and go cool down a bit, so yeah, that's, that's all I really got for you. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.